The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. So we posted the charts of the German DAX. You can see the daily ABCD was completed, and shortly after that, we had a pretty good correction, as you can see on the 15-minute chart, stopping right pretty much where it's supposed to. Now, if you relate that to what we have going in the, um, let's just take a quick look here at the E-mini S&P because I think that would give us a pretty good idea of what's been happening over the last day or two. You'll see this is what I did yesterday, uh, getting ready for what I think is going to be today's low, which would be around 3072. Uh, We've been down to 3075 and we're having a little bit of a bounce in there. That is a 135 pattern, folks. Um, one, three, and three and five equal in time and price. With a good ratio, you see you've got a 61% retracement on both of those. So that sets that up. That means that if the market rallies like it usually does, and if it's really bullish, we're going to rally. And well, if it, we could make new highs, easy. <laughs> but if we if we look at it, it shouldn't get any higher than uh, 3086 for the December E mini S and P, or at the worst 3098. Whether that'll happen or not, I don't know, but that's what we're looking at today as we look at these charts. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Now, there's going to be a change in venue today because we have uh, our good friend, Dr. Steve Shapiro, will be on tomorrow. He has to go in for some tests. On uh, He's up in my age bracket as we hate, head into those eight furlongs. And I have to be out of the show. I won't be on the show on Friday because I also have things that I need to get done. So, unfortunately, we will do tomorrow's show, and then we won't see you again till Monday. Now, some uh, one of our uh, listeners uh, from up there in the old state of Washington, Mr. Mr. Sent us a uh, really nice, uh, let's get this up here. I wanted to show you because it's related to Elliott Way, folks. But you'll notice here that uh, this is was the four, this is from April 24th, and here we are coming into November the 13th. And you'll notice here that uh, we are, uh, we, we the, he, you can see here that uh, we, we've gotten up and made that three drive pattern. We, we've, po we've published that now for three weeks because it's been up here for three weeks. It hasn't really done anything. So that doesn't mean it won't, but, you know, maybe it'll fail. Maybe it'll blow, you know, blow up to the upside. I'm not sure. But that is a pattern. Now, I... The problem that I had with the Elliott Way people was nothing with the ratios or anything like that, nothing with the patterns. It was with the way they counted them. You know, I used to listen to Bryce Gilmore and Bob Miner at the house up there in Pismo Beach argue all the time, whether it was a, a two or a three. They always figure out it was a five, but the twos, threes, and fours, they would argue about. And, you know, of course, the, the, the chief of the of the whole whole uh, group was uh, uh, Bryce. You didn't want to argue with him because he certainly is, uh, you know, he really knew what was going on. Well, anyway, those uh, those are what uh, we're watching here. And, you know, I, I'm sure that this stuff works. But, uh, you know, remember, Elliot was in 19, 1938, I believe he died in 44 or 45, and he I don't think he ever did any trading. He never published any works as of, you know, W.D. Gann and, and Gartley published a lot of works and uh, showed the thing. Now, with Gann, you will never see the word Fibonacci in any of his works, folks. And that's what's the most amazing thing about W.D. Gann. He was a 33rd degree mason. The chances of him not understanding Fibonacci and sacred geometry would be uh, would be like uh, let's see try to put it in relation to like uh, uh, Tiger Woods would have to start over uh, on a uh, pitch and putt uh, uh, you know course <laughs> I mean that stuff is ingrained in, in their their all of their things that's why you see the G in the uh, uh, in the 33rd degree Mason that G stands for geometry the geometry of the market. And geometry of life, I mean, geometry of the universe, it's all there. All we're doing is just looking at some silly patterns that have some uh, 
relationship to some of those uh, ratios that we're looking at. Now, we have a uh, rally going in the Treasury bonds today, folks. Now, last night uh, and early this morning, we made a 61% retracement on our Treasury bond uh, market that we were looking at. We thought it was going to get that rally up there. We certainly have. That's what we're looking for. Now, if we can get it above uh, 158 today, that will tell us that it's got legs and it could possibly go uh, a great deal higher, but it has to do that first. But it did stop at the very first level that we're looking at. We, we talked about that on the air yesterday with uh, Mr. Z, and we'll uh, be watching that very closely too. Let's get over to the old GLD market. This gets to gold. I'm going to start out with the with the ETF for for gold. I know most of you folks do do a lot of this, but we went down. We hit that exact number, folks. Uh, 1448 was the number in the S in the the uh, December gold. Our low was 1446.80, uh, one dollar off, and from that level we rallied up twenty dollars, just three dollars more than the. Um, harmonic number of 17. So I would assume that we're going to have a little bit of a correction here. And if you folks are really, really bullish in gold, look for no more than a $9 correction. Uh, you, you might find that strange, but if you looked at it on the way down, almost all of those rallies that we had uh, where well, we had a couple of them at $34, but those were the big ones, but most of them were 11 and $9. So it should do the reverse of that on the way up. It also happens to be the 38.2% retracement of the move we had from yesterday. We rallied $20 an ounce, $30 or $8 back, takes you right down to $14.59. Now, after a $20 rally like this, any move below $14.46 uh-oh, that's not good. Then you're looking at a market that's really in serious trouble. But right now, it doesn't have trouble written over it at all. It looks very, very good uh, from that uh from that perspective, so I hope you, I can see that we'll be able to we'll be able to understand that as we move through looking at some of these things. Uh, one of the questions that someone asked me was about uh, the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, at a spot where I think I yeah, here it is. Hold on just a second, I get it up here. It's at a real critical spot right here, right now. We're right at the. Uh, 50% retracement here in Bitcoin. We've been here for, if you'll take a look at it, this is a uh, daily chart. So we've been down here for one, two, three, four, five days. So we're right at that 50% level. It's it, We could easily get to the 61% retracement, which is down around 82. But right now we're setting it around 87. Frankly, I would, I would prefer to be buying it on a 61% retracement. And the reason is that it didn't hold the 382 level. And when it doesn't hold the 382 level, the only next ratio is the 50%. And the only time I use 50% ratios, folks, is when we have a nice ABCD. So if I have pattern and ratios together at the same time, I have two things from sacred geometry that give me an idea that, yes, this might be the spot. But if we don't have that, you know, then your 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 odds of probability might be slipping a little bit. So I would uh, I would certainly wait if you're going to do the Bitcoin. Wait for that 82 level, 8200, 877 927 6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's take a quick look here at the old Bondolis so we can get an idea of what we're talking about. Here's where we were yesterday as we chatted with you. You notice that you'll see that we had a 1.618 expansion there on the 7th, and now we've had the rally. We've got up to 57.28 last night, which was a 61% retracement of the high that we made uh, back on uh, November the 6th. So that's a sign that the market has at least started to rally up a little bit. The $64 question is, is it going to... Um, uh, 40 percent, uh, oh, I don't know what that means, uh, about the orders are talking here in the den about the number of shorts coming in. I think for every short, you have to have a long, don't you? At least you have that in the futures market. I know that's not that way in stocks, but in futures, for every long, you have to have a short. The open interest uh, dropped a little bit yesterday in the E-mini uh, S&P. Uh, and so I don't, and it also dropped in the Dow and the NASDAQ. So there's not a lot of open interest coming in here, new buying coming in at this level, but that's it. You know, we'll be able to see that. Yes, Mr. Bill, it was spot on yesterday when we uh, fo focused on that. I'm not going to post anymore because I, I do not want the hassle of uh, trying to explain what the heck the darn thing is. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's move on here with the bonds. We, we are in an area here in the bonds where we, we should have some pretty uh, pretty stiff resistance. Uh, that's what it looks like uh, to me anyway. But whether that's going to happen or not, you know, we'll have to uh, to wait and see. Uh, someone, uh, hold on just a second here. I'm trying to do three things at once, and sometimes I'm not able to do that. So bear with me here one second, and we'll see what's happening. And uh, we will move on here. Okay, let's move on here to the next one. Just a second here. Oh, one that's really interesting, folks, that we've been talking about for quite some time is the, uh, yes, that's right, three things at once. Uh, when you have a hard time walking and chewing gum, it's a, you don't want to mess with that one. Let's see if we can uh, talk a little bit here about the natural gas, folks, because this is important. We talked about this yesterday. This has got a chance to have a pretty good bull move. Now, remember... We have the big ABCD up there at that 127. You can see at 290. Remember, that was a, a very, very big number. It was also a 38% retracement from another high that we had way back 
uh, in the early part of the year. So that's a perfect move. Now, if this move is symmetrical, you can see here that we broke below the 382 level yesterday. That was a very, very bad sign. And now we are right, you, you see right below that, and here's a perfect example. Right below that, you're looking at 255. 255 is the 50% retracement. So if you were going to trade natural gas, and gosh, folks, it is really a great one to trade. Thank Mr. Z for that one. Uh, he's really alerted us to that, and that's that's been a good thing, I think. But anyway, that 50% level will have some smaller ABCDs. All you have to do, and like Twentyman says, Defy human nature, do the work yourself, go in and take a look at the half hour charts, and you're going to see some really clear ABCD patterns coming in at 255 on the natural gas. Now, will that hold? I don't know. But the big problem that we have here, and no one's even alerted you, you folks to it, is look at the island reversal that we had here. Five days, we were setting up there between 290 and 276, and then we gapped down big on Monday. Bada bing, bada boom, that is not a good sign. So uh, seeing that happen, uh, do that, you should look at it. If you're ever bored and you want to just not watch the NASDAQ and the S&P like you always do, go look at it because it was uh, really great. And by the way, Maria, you did a fabulous job in the, the uh, E-mini S&P yesterday when you were posting 3101 and uh, you hit it pretty much on the spot. I think the high was 31.02 and three quarters. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's get to the hogs. Our hogs came down yesterday down to the uh, 30, excuse me, the 20, <laughs> the 62.70 level, and we rallied a little bit from there. But there's a lot of bullish news going on in the hogs. So you better uh, watch it because if the prices don't go up on bullish news, there's trouble. So be very, very careful of that. Here's an interesting statistic that someone uh, sent us uh, from uh, uh, that listens to the den all the time. These are just some of the stocks. We're just going to get these up here so that you'll be able to see them easily. These are the, the percentage winners since uh, we had uh, this is look at it. The, these are the percentage winners in the last 11 years. Look at Amazon. Can you believe these numbers? Amazon. Oh, look at Salesforce. That's that's the uh, well, the big one is, is Amazon. Boy, that's uh, that's pretty good. Not bad for a little bookstore uh, up in uh, Seattle. I think that's where it was. Oh, by the way, Mr. Paul Tudor Jones was on today on CNBC, and he mentioned that if the Democrats get elected. He says it's not going to be good for the stock market. Uh, Leon Cooperman, of course, said that if uh, uh, Miss Warren gets elected, if Elizabeth Warren gets elected, then I'd even going to open the stock market the next day. He was being facetious, of course, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Okay, let's move on, and we will. Uh, you know, when I look at Paul Tudor Jones, I really, uh, I, I met him many, many years ago. But my goodness, he's he was just a young kid, and now he's filling out, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm the only one that didn't get any older. I don't understand it. All of my friends have getting older and never got any older. Problem is, I'm burying so doggone many of them. That's the bad thing. Son of a gun. It's been a tough year. Be glad when this one's over. All right, let's move on and uh, uh, talk. Hey, folks, let's take a... Oh, shucks, I missed a train. Dog, got it. Oh, boy. Pay close attention to the Canadian dollars, folks, because that has a really nice ABCD pattern in there, and it looks uh, it looks really interesting. So pay uh, pay sort of close attention to that because it's got a, a really, a really nice pattern up here. So watch it. It's uh, that's on the upside too. The ABCD structure on the upside. That's really what you're what you're really uh, looking at. So pay attention to it. That's all I can tell you. You know, that's uh that's all you can do. Hold on one second here. I got to do a little little housework here. Boy, this is tough when you get these darn things here. I want to see here. Oh, one second here. Oh, okay. Any questions? 877-927-6648. 
four eighths. And uh, now we say that our uh, El Presidente would like to have negative interest rates. I would rather us do what they do over in Denmark, and that is uh, Norway, is they're going to give you money. In other words, they give you, uh, they, <laughs> they pay you for buying a house. Now, there's got to be something wrong with that program. You know, Come on, boys and girls. That's certainly got to be a big one. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, remember that. That could be uh, quite interesting as we go through some of these charts here that we're looking at here this morning. Any questions, folks? It's 877-927-6648. Now, here is something very interesting. I'm going to bring this up so you folks would be able to look at it in the den. But uh, let's get this up here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a little article that uh, Rich Anderson sent me. Probably he reads as much as, well, nobody reads as much as David White, but uh, Rich reads an awful lot and subscribes to many of these things. But this is an article talking about the volatility index, the VIX index, and you'll notice on the bottom side, you'll see that magenta line is the VIX index, and of course, the white line is the S&P 500, I believe, or, yeah, it has to be. It is the S&P 500. 
200. So it's it's really interesting because what will be happening here is the fact that uh, it's at a low level with stocks very high, which is supposed to be that way, but it hasn't broken below any lows that we made, you know, way last year. So somebody's in there taking some protection in this market sometime. And I, you know, I've always said that the, we're going to see some spikes in volatility, much like we had in 2008 and 2009. And remember, the VIX at one time during 2008, I believe we got to uh, 96. And from 96, it went to 8. And that's a big that's a big sell off. So uh, just keep in mind that volatility will return and uh, things will get back to normal. I'm not sure uh, whether things will ever get back to normal in Hong Kong anymore, folks. It's a war zone over there. They actually closed the schools today and they closed the Happy Valley racetrack and also shot in. Both of the racetracks were closed. So there's serious problems over there. And uh, boy, I wish they would get them straightened out. Now, Dennis Gartman sent the, this was in his letter uh, yesterday, Rich forwarded on to me. Uh, I didn't get a chance to read Dennis's today, but let's get this up here to take a look at it. Here is the uh, bond market, and he's saying here, this is, a, of course, a long-term uh, you know, monthly chart. You'll notice that uh, this uh, we topped back in 2016 in the, in the Treasury bonds. That's when they changed the, the value of the bond. Then we came down. You notice the rally that we just had, you know, was just— a few weeks ago, and well, it's been a couple of months in August, that was right at a 78% level in the 30 year bond. And now we're down at uh, this was two days old, so it's 156.22. We're now at 157.22, so we rally, rallied the whole handle uh, from that level. So that's it. His question is Is the U.S. long bond? Future in monthly terms, did the 35-year bull market end in mid-16? And we said that at that time. We said, yes, we thought that it was. Now, in 16, they were not doing too much about the negative interest rate. So as we get lower and lower and lower, they start talking about, you know, in, you know negative interest rates. And I think that, well— well, we'll let history decide whether it'll be right or wrong. I really don't know. It's uh, not up for me uh, to tell me that. Now, I did want to uh, mention one other thing, and that's uh, – hold on just a second here. This is about uh, – this is a really interesting uh, – another one from our good friend Rich Anderson. This is from one of the folks that we're going to have on as a guest. I think I showed this yesterday, but I want to show it again anyway because it's really interesting. This is a, a chart – uh, comparing the two different scenarios of uh, the path of the S&P 500. You'll notice here uh, that we, on the bullish case scenario, there were an impulse wave five, which we might have done. And then in the bearish case, you could see we could pull off and we could have a, a big move to the upside, whether that happens or not. We've got Mr. Z on the line. What it be, Mr. Z? Well, Mr. Uh, Pesavento, we look forward to li uh, listening to you and Mr. Shapiro speak tomorrow. Uh, it should be good. You never know. I mean, we haven't rehearsed this or anything. I spoke to him this morning because he had to have a doctor's appointment. But uh, I said, Steve, I said, let's just wing it. And he said, well, what other way do you do it? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be fun. What can I do for you, my friend? I wanted to ask you this, uh, a couple of questions. Uh, first, I wanted to start off by asking you about the euro. Just as a okay. trader, um, yes. the euro has – one, two, three. It has uh, bled lower. Now, the, just by way of background, there's been no movement to speak of in the euro. The only way anybody's made any money in the past months is by leveraging it up huge, which, mm. frankly, is something yes. I just don't do. That said, in the past 10 uh, trading days, the price of the euro has bled lower, and uh, we're right down at uh, 110 even. My question, as mm. a trader... During the slow, steady bleed lower, do you, do you as a trader go ahead and buy lower lows like occurred this morning because it's testing exactly a FIP 618 level? Yes, that's that's one of the things I would do, but I'm waiting for that 109 level. You can see from the chart that I posted here in the den that it looks like we're going to get to that 109. I think we we're in the 109 level because uh, my beeper went off a little while ago. Did we just didn't go below 1, 110 just recently? Didn't we? Because I, yeah, I thought by that, one yeah, tip. 
Yeah, so I saw the beeper go off. So I'm looking at 109 is what I'm looking for. I have no interest in here. And you made a good point, uh, John, and that is that, uh, you know, there's not any volatility here. You know, if you're going to trade things, trade things like gold that's rocking and rolling, treasury bonds, you know, the, uh, uh, the stock market. I mean, we've had some really up and down moves in the stock market. Most of them have been up, but there have been a few down ones. But uh, those are the ones that I'm uh, really watching. So uh, as soon as the euro has a really good volatile day, like we had a few weeks ago, then they get my attention. But until that happens, you know, there's like you say, you, you want to go, you want to play where the where the players are, and uh, there's not much going on over there right now. Okay, fair enough on that. Thanks so much. Just just one thing, I am looking in Tiger TV. Thank you at the Euro Daily Charts, mm -hmm. and uh, I see your uh, Fib support levels there. Uh, today's low is precisely the 618, which is at 110 even. Okay. Um, and then, of course, a lower support level is the 786, down at 109.40 mm -hmm. or so, mm -hmm. uh, given the numbers I'm looking at at your chart on Tiger TV. My question, um, your use as a trader of the FIB numbers, mm -hmm. um, why would you say I'm not going to give it a shot at the 618 and wait to the 786? Why would you do that? Uh, if you do that, I'm thinking uh, you'd miss the opportunity of getting long if, in fact, it did bottom at the 618. Uh, yes, that's that's always a possibility. Yes, I, I don't know which one to, to do. I mean, I have to, I'd have to do one first, and then try the second one. That's the only thing I could do. Okay, you know, that, right. I, 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 I would have to, I would have to be locked into that. That's the only thing that I could. Uh, that I could assume would be uh, happening. Uh, I don't know I if that's the right way to look at it or not, but uh, that is uh, that is what we're looking at. Yeah, no, there's uh, no right, no wrong way. I was just curious what your what your uh, thought process would be. So thanks on that. I uh, wanted to uh, uh, follow up and ask you about the gold market. Um, mm -hmm. Let let us assume. Uh, yesterday's low at 11 o'clock was, was a tradable bottom. My question to you is, given that uh, the gold price fell very abruptly in seven trading days, you know, 1520, you know, pick a round number, down mm -hmm. to 1446, so down 70 bucks mm -hmm. in a mere seven trading days, uh, when you're looking at that that pattern that's uh, that's uh, been in force since back at Labor Day, is this a sort of setup in which you could envision the gold price just running straight back up another 70 bucks right back to that 15, 20 level in Easy, John. You know, Easy. a uh, reciprocal seven trading yeah. day uh, time frame? Stay with us, John. Stay with us. We'll be right back. If you're in a CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we have Mr. Z on the line and we're talking about gold. John, are you still with us? I am, sir. John, I've posted the daily chart going back to last March in the gold. We've talked about it yesterday. In fact, we've talked about it infinitum. I mean, we've been talking about this chart for a long time. But we have reached, as you can see, uh, the low we made yesterday at 1467.90 was uh, within $1 of the 382 retracement at 1448. But more important is if you look at what happened back between March and May of last year, we had a 48-day correction. Well, believe it or not, yesterday was the 48th day, and it also happened to be a full moon, and we know that gold moves quite actively sometimes on full moon. So with that $20 move, and that's a pretty big move, that's a little more than one half of a harmonic number of $17. So if gold is really bullish, John, what I'm watching is the most retracement we're going to get is a 382, and that would take us to 14 59 give or take a dollar anything below 1452 would be highly suspect and should we go below 1446 uh, now uh oh that would that would really really be negative that means that whole sequence failed and we must watch it closely now because we started really nicely twenty dollar move in gold in two days is pretty good when you're when you're long right I mean, that's what usually they tell us. <laughs> but uh, what I what I've what I've told the folks to do is to put your stops at uh, you know fourteen fifty two. That way you protect yourself for you know four or five dollars if it's if it's right. If it's right and it's really good and it could be the you know what the profit objective of the ABCD move is from May John seventeen twenty, which is the seventy eight percent retracement of gold from the high that we made back in April of 2011. I was in Hong Kong at that time when it was still a beautiful city. And uh, sure isn't that now. But anyway, that um, that's what we're looking at here. So pay attention to that level of 1452. If we get back below that, that could tell us it could be uh, trouble in River City. But right now, it's looking pretty good. Thanks for sharing that 1720 um, uh, calculation. Interestingly enough, that dovetails with a number that I had shared with uh, members of the Tiger's Den back in uh, late June, namely a target of 1,700. That was uh, calculated or projected using the measured move technique with gold coming out of that five-year base of uh, 1,360 down to that 1,045 level. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, perhaps something like that happens. We'll uh, we'll we'll wait and see. 
Well, that's what we have to do. We have to be like a doctor and have lots of patience. <laughs> that's that's I love that's, it. that's that's I love that's Larry, the end of my. So that, appreciate it. Hey, thanks a lot, John. We appreciate everything you do in the den because some of the trades you've given us have just been uh, just been absolutely spectacular. So uh, we really do appreciate it. Okay, let's uh, move on, and we're going to talk a little. We took, covered that gold market, so I think we've done enough. We've shaken the tree on that uh, quite a bit. But uh, the other one that you know, I really think it means something. You know, I'm not I'm not sure exactly, but you know, if we just looked at this uh, this uh, hold on one second, I want to get this one up here. Uh, where is this thing at? Uh, here's the Dow Jones. I want to get this up here and just show you this pattern again in the Dow Jones because I I do believe it is it is very important and we've made we've made all the patterns. You can see the one from July to where we were here coming in in the full moon yesterday and we we made another high up in here. But the thing is you're seeing in the, in the news and everything it's very complacent. You know there's just nobody has any fear at all and this is the kind of the most dangerous folks. Uh, those, those can be really, really nasty. So uh, whether it means a whole lot or not, you know, I don't know. But uh, either here or there, we'll we'll wait and see. You know how the thing unfolds as we as we start to look at it. That's uh, all I can really tell you. Um, I uh, remember we're going to we're going to have Dr. Steve Shapiro on tomorrow. He had a doctor's appointment today, so hopefully we will have him on tomorrow and we'll uh, we'll move on to there. Uh getting back to the euro here, I wanted to relate this uh to the US dollar because the US dollar of course, uh 53% of it is in the euro and as you can see here, we are now up at the 61% retracement on the euro, which means we've got to be at the 61% retracement. Uh, on the dollar index, and that's exactly what we have happening. So we just hit that 110 level, as uh, Mr. Z talked about it. We went one tick below it. So this is going to be a real interesting day here, is whether this thing turns from here. Now, we've been up eight days in a row in the dollar index, and by the same token, we've been doing the same thing in the opposite on the downside. So the euro is most probably getting ready to have a pretty good rally. That's uh, that's the way it would look like from the way I'm watching it this morning. I don't know about how you folks look at it, but that's neither here nor there. So uh, that's what I'm watching. Now, um, another one that doesn't get much play, but we really had it's had a pretty big move to the downside here, and that is the emerging markets, folks. I don't trade this. All I do is look at it because it's in the news quite a bit. And you notice that we did make an ABCD there. You can see it in the yellow uh, uh, triangles that I've got there. And it is a very nice ABCD, so we're going to find out whether that means anything. The Hong Kong market has gotten hit and has got hit pretty hard here these last couple of days. Uh, we're down another uh, five or six hundred points last night, and the fighting last night was as bad as anything I've seen. Uh, looked like Afghanistan. I mean, these kids are throwing beer bottles filled with gasoline, and they're basically those are those are. That, that's no different than having a gun, folks. In fact, it's worse than a gun because a burn is the worst thing you can have to happen to your body. It just it just destroys everything. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I won't talk any more about that because it upsets the heck out of me. That's neither here nor there. I wanted to give one other one that looks interesting, and that is this gap that we have here in the S&P 500 cash market. We're still looking at that gap from a week or so ago, and we'll find out. There'll probably be some type of a news announcement to come on to make this thing either spike more to the upside or move over to the uh, to the downside. I'm not sure. Now, I've got enough time to do one other one that I think looks pretty interesting here. And we've been looking at this now for several days with the help of Mr. Z, of course, and that is our March, March soybeans. Oh, Dennis, that's not good. That's terrible. <laughs> I know you meant it facetiously. Okay, look at, you'll see here at the 920 level, we're, we're about 11, 12 cents away still in the March beans, but watch it really closely because at that point you're going to have a uh, a beautiful ABCD. And what I mean by that is that the AB leg is going to be equal to the CD leg, not only in price, but also in time. And it's been coming in right at a 78% retracement of the low from September and a 50% low from the where we were in uh, in uh 
in, in early September, and it's a 382 retracement from the low way back on May 13th. You've got three major things coming here, 11 cents lower in beans. So watch that one very, very closely. It'd be like watching the euro today because of that 618. It's a, it's a really powerful, powerful one to, uh, you know, to take a look at. So just uh, keep in mind that's what we're, that's what we're looking at. Whether that means much or not, I don't know, but nobody else does either. So let's. Uh, uh, let's just do one thing at a time. That's for sure. Uh, we got the gold coming right back up, folks. It's almost back to the high, 1465. It's rocking and rolling, baby. Don't miss it. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're back, and uh, we want to finish up the show by telling you that uh, we are very, very uh, comfortable with the fact that we might have made a major high on that full moon yesterday. Uh, if we get above 3102, then, of course, we have to dash that with a whole bunch of jalapeno pepper sauce because it is no good right now. And we haven't moved very much. Gosh, it's done very, very little, you know, to change your mind on whether you think things are going to, you know, really. Uh, work that way or not, we really don't know. So, 
Uh, we'll, we'll just do one thing at a time. That's really what we're looking at. I will share with you, uh, since we're talking, we'll be talking to Dr. Steve tomorrow uh, about some AI and some stuff, but I'll post the chart for the, uh, the crude oil. It looks a very interesting one because remember, folks, this red line has nothing to do with price. I mean, absolutely nothing to do with price. It's like a tuning fork. It's a, it's a vibration of time. It has nothing to do with that axis over there where the price is. It's all related to time. And as you can see here, at around, oh, that's coming in just a little after the time that we have the uh, oil inventories coming out today. So uh, pay attention to that one. That can be really interesting at around 11 o'clock in the crude oil. That would be a very interesting one, you know, to uh, take a look at. So quite, quite important, I think. That's what we're watching. The last one I'd like to cover, of course, and we don't cover this one too often, uh, and that is the uh, the live hog market because we we got down to that key level within about a buck, and now we're starting to see the hog starting to move up. And that was funny today on uh, Paul Tudor Jones. Someone asked him about the hog market, and he said, we don't trade hogs, which I, I think that was uh, because he always re really did all the financials. So that's uh, pretty cool. So that's what we're we're watching it, folks, as the old clock on the wall tells us that we're finished here. So remember to use stops, because if you don't use a stop, you're telling Mr. Market that, gee, I know more than you do. And that's not going to happen very often, because it'll turn around and bite you on the old kabuki. No questions asked. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have um, Steve Shapiro. Dr. Steve will be with us. And I won't be in, a, in the office on Friday, but that's it. We'll see you all tomorrow, folks. Thank you.